Hi guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. This time, not with tactics, but still a video that we make every single time, every single year. It's the five most common mistakes uh, casuals or maybe below average level players make in FC. So I've summed up five common mistakes and I'm going to get through all five of those. First one is moving the goalkeeper too early. In this year in particular because the goalkeeper doesn't move back for some time and you can only move in for one step. But when your opponent sees that you move your goalkeeper already very early, it makes it very easy for him to choose the right corner and to finish that chance. First example, you can see that I'm through and go with Vini. I see that uh, he moves his goalkeeper to the left, so I decided to shoot it in the right corner, um, all because he just gave me it, basically. In the next clip again, he's through and go with Arda Güler. We move him to the left, and he knows that the right side is free and becomes very easy for him to... Um, to finish that, Makutua has no chance. And then again, with Greece winning through goal, I move to the near post, makes it very easy for him. He just finesses it far post, and um, yeah, we can see the goal. Next up is stabbing out with players, pulling them out of position, which creates gaps in the defense. First clip, um, Patri, we step out with her, then with Saliba, we make a wrong step, and this creates a gap between the right back and the other center back, in which Leao uh, comes. You can give the cross and shoot. This is obviously not how it should be. Next clip is a bit more extreme. We try to be aggressive for the X-Pass with Saliba. It doesn't work. Then we commit with Rudiger again. And it makes it so easy for her opponent to break through. He doesn't even have to do anything. Uh, it's just better when you cover the most dangerous pass. And then again, with uh, Mendy, we step in. With Rudiger, go aggressive for the X-Pass. He gives a through ball. If you don't go, give that cross. And it's, yeah... Crazy finish to be fair, but it all comes from that one mistake or two mistakes maybe with Mandy and with Rudiger that we made in the build-up to this goal. Number three is taking his first time sprint touch. This is obviously something you don't want to do and um, you always want to let loose of the R2 button in your first touch. You only really do it when you give a through ball and he's already running, but when you pass to a player that's standing still or not moving quick, don't use the sprint touch first time because then this is what you're gonna get. Let's take a look. Llorente and Salah both take sprint touch. It goes well, honestly, but then with some we take sprint touch as well and it becomes so easy for the defender. Again, uh, Vini passing it to Son and Son trying to take sprint touch into or between two de defenders, but just ball goes off your foot and you might wonder why your touches are always so bad well this is why here again patri to son we want to immediately go for goal but we've got to be more patient there it's just not possible N take a normal touch and then try to combine because this first time sprint touch is not it next thing i'm going to talk about is rushing out when you recover the ball take it easy don't immediately press x or panic let's take a look in this case, it's an R advance. He takes the ball, Llorente then tries to R1 dribble. Why? Then he takes it again, immediately x it to me with uh, to Vini. Uh, we lose the ball. He blocks it. Okay, that's unlucky. Then uh, we decide to go for a cross. He presses X, I believe, instead of circle, which gives us a chance again with Odegaard. And this time, uh, we come up with a brilliant over-the-top through ball, uh, and we punish him. So, take it easy. Here again, we can recover the ball with Rudiger, but we play first time X pass with Odegaard to fall out to scores because we panic and he's immediately through 1v1 with our goalkeeper and it's a goal. Here again, uh, we recover the ball with Patri uh, and then immediately X pass to someone who's marked. He can immediately press with Pirlo and in this game, your defenders are immediately gone when you lose the ball in the build up. So um, instead, just shield the ball me with L2, pass to a fullback to the wings first before you go into the middle. Next thing people always have difficulties with is the throw-in. People don't select a player with uh, R3, so they don't switch to a player, which makes it difficult them. And this is what happens. We got around the corner and immediately everyone is marked. And it becomes very easy for opponent to mark everyone because they're not really moving as much. You can see skulls and everyone just standing still. Next slip again in the corner. No movement. Udegaard a bit. Yeah, for, uh, Llorente is coming there, but he was already switching with Theo to go there. So it was impossible for us to pass somewhere. Now, even in the middle of the pitch, it's so easy if you want, you can't take a quick throw in as well. You need to wait every time. So I give you now a tip with R3. R3, just fake it. For example, now we sex Vini, he's gonna mark Vini, then quick, switch to scores and we're free. So as these were the five most common mistakes in FC25 made by casual or below average players, 
If you got any questions, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, you think it was helpful, drop a like, subscribe on the channel, and I'll see you for the next time. Bye.